So, we all know there's gonna be a Smash reveal at E3. The only real question is who? I'm just gonna come out and say it. Um, yeah, honestly, it could be anyone. My guess is pretty much as good as yours, right? No one saw any of this past coming, maybe outside of Steve. But then again, no one actually thought Steve was going to be a character. Everyone just thought he was gonna be a joke pick. And everyone really believed, you know, like, this character's just, you know, haha, <laughs> funny Minecraft Steve in Smash. And, uh, yeah, now he's in Smash. So, I mean, honestly, anyone in my opinion has a chance. I can try and take guesses, and that's really what I want to do. I've wanted to do that since Seth Raw, because my last DLC video is pretty outdated. It's like eight months old, so I just figured, ah, fuck it, I'll, I'll just do another one. Also, you know, for the record, this is like my last DLC video, because, yes, I'm also tired of Smash speculation. I see it all day, every day. It's in my YouTube recommendations. I'm so tired of it, but I, I just can't not put my at least thoughts out there, the characters I want personally. But then again, I'm pretty much open to anyone. I'm not biased against anyone at this point. Maybe outside of like, you know, more Fire Emblem. Even though I wouldn't be against more Fire Emblem. But like, you know, I, I'd like to see some more representation. As long as they're like unique character, I'm pretty cool with it. So yeah, uh, let, let's just jump into it. I just want to talk about, you know, a quick little video about, you know, who I want as DLC, who I think could be DLC, and all this. Okay, so the first thing I want to address in this video is the super requested characters. And how I just don't think any of them are actually going to make it into this game. Crash and Sora are like the two biggest I see, and I just don't think either of them are actually going to happen. Sora, because Disney would not allow any other properties in Smash, and you know, like how are you going to put Sora in Smash without putting, you know, like Donald or like Goofy or something, you know? Because I think those are the main characters of the game. I, I don't know, I haven't played a Kingdom Hearts game, so don't, don't flame me in the comments, please. And also, you know, we just got Seth Roth, who's a Square Enix rep, and Square Enix doesn't like people. They don't like happiness, so they don't like putting things, or characters, in games. So, there's zero fucking chance we're getting two Square Enix reps back-to-back, -back, you know? So, I, I, I'd rather have Seth Roth over Sora anyway, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then there's Crash. Honestly, Crash, like, fits Smash, because he has a personality, he has a spunk, but, like, it just doesn't make sense for to me for him to be in smash because i literally had zero clue who he was until like smash speculation so i mean hey you know like i, I could be wrong I i'm not saying like i'm definitively right or anything i could be completely wrong and these could be the next two characters but i i, I just don't see it happening honestly i think literally anyone else <laughs> The thing I, like, really want to do with this video, though, is just throw some names out, you know? Just guessing off of popular requested characters just really doesn't work. So, why not just have some hope in characters I would actually want? And I encourage you guys to, like, the character you guys want, support them. Don't just support the popular vote or, like, the character you think's most likely to get in Smash. Because, I mean, look at characters like Terry, uh, Joker, the Aegises, you know? Like... These were not, like, super heavily requested characters, yet here they are in the game, you know? And I don't think anyone really knew who Terry was before Smash, and now he's, like, super cool, so... Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. I already... Full video going over, like, the main character I want in Smash. So, you know, I won't really go in that depth with it. If you want to, here's the video. It's up to you. But it's a catchy from Persona 5, or I guess really any Persona rep. But the main rep I want is a catchy. As I said... I already made like a full video going over this, so I'm not going to waste like 50 minutes of this video going over it. So, the video is there. If you want to watch it, I highly encourage it. Uh, yeah, but he's the main character I want in Smash. I would probably like lose my shit if he was announced. Like, I think I would get like hurt myself how bad I'd pop off. But, that, that, that's for the future, you know, when he's revealed at E3. But, let's continue with some other characters I'd like to talk about. Okay, so I think the first name I want to throw here is a Plants vs. Zombies rep. I know that, you know, it's been a random guess, but I love the PvZ series that show up for Plants for Zombies. I love the series, and I think I would be extremely happy to see these characters in the game. The first PvZ was really, like, big for mobile gaming, so, you know, you could justify it by saying, hey, you know, it's for the mobile gaming, you know, which is a pretty, you know, it's growing in popularity, it's a pretty big part. You know, everyone can just download a game on their phone or tablet or whatever. And honestly, bro, I think the Plants for Zombies rep could have a lot of potential. I mean, it kind of depends on where they pull it. The Garden Warfare series is, like, probably their biggest games or, like, their most known ones. So, I mean, like, you could pull from that, and it probably has the most, like, stuff you can pull from. But, you know, like, a Pea Shooter or a Foot Soldier. But I want to see Crazy Dave. I think he's probably, like, the most likely Plants vs. Zombies rep. 
I mean, just imagine it, dude. He'd be like this heavyweight, kind of, you know, a little bit slower, but more like a campy character. Yes, I understand this sounds very unfun to play against. But hear me out, okay? Like, you know, he could like place down plants, or he, he just uses plants, you know, for like all of his shit. His final smash could be something with like Zomp, like the Zomb boss or something. I don't know. Anyway, you know, a plane for zombies rep would be sick. I highly doubt it'll ever happen, but I'd be pretty hyped for it. Also, the music it would bring would be pretty cool because Plane for Zombies has unironically some pretty good music. And then, you know, the last character I would just be like ecstatic for is Rayman. Rayman Legends is one of my favorite 2D platformers of all time, and 2D platformers are actually my favorite genre of games, so I, of course, want to invent Smash. I highly doubt Rayman will ever be put in Smash because. It's pretty irrelevant nowadays, sadly. Ubisoft just, like, refuses to give us anything Rayman related. Outside of, like, a mobile app. But even then, it's not, like, new or anything. Oh, he's also in Brawl Hall, so I, in my opinion, it gives me, like, less hope. But hey, man, you know, let's say he was, dude. I think he'd be sick. He'd be, like, a fast disjoint character. Sounds amazing already. Like, I could sit here and list off, like, moves and different stuff he could do. But I think Smash Bros. 2 got it pretty good. The only thing I would change is, like, his specials in that game. Change them to what? I, I don't really know. I mean, they just feel off to me in that game. Like, a character like that shouldn't have, you know, specials like that. But, you know, I, if anyone could do it, it's Sakurai. I believe in him. So, honestly, dude, yeah, put Rayman in Smash, you know? Also, you know, he also would have some cool music. So, I mean, if you want to put it in Smash, you know. Hey, 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 I'm open to it. Look, hey, <laughs> Okay, so now let's talk about who it is probably actually going to be. My best guess is just any first party rep. When Pyro and Mithra were revealed, Xeno plays two sails shot through the fucking roof. So of course Nintendo wants more money, they're going to do that again. So, uh, what character do you ask I hear? Yeah, no clue. They could never add another Fire Emblem character, so I just don't think it'll be a Fire Emblem character. After that, like, Byleth reaction, yeah, no, Fire Emblem's a no-go. <laughs> I mean, it's probably just gonna be, like, another Pokemon, something lame. I, I just really hope it's not another Pokemon. We have so many Pokemon in this game already. Give us a new series, give us new, some new representation. That's why everyone was so mad at Byleth. And people will be furious at a Pokemon rep. Because, like, you know how many people hate Sword and Shield? Well, okay, okay, I'm ranting, I'm ranting. But, you know, to be honest, though, any guess is just as good as mine. I, p I have my money on a Pokemon, and, you know, I would not pop off of that. I would just kind of laugh, like, wow, they really put another Pokemon. But, you know, like, I, new Zelda rep is possible. We have Breath of the Wild 2 coming out, so who knows? Honestly, it could be anyone. And I'd like to hear what y'all think in the comments, because, like, I just mainly see only popular votes. But I want to hear some wild shit, you know? Who's your most wanted character? You get to pick a character, who is it? You know, that, that's what I want to hear. I want to hear those wild picks. But, yeah, I, I just love to know who y'all think it would be. Who I want to know what you guys think the reveal is going to be and who you want. Because uh, those are, like, different things in my opinion. But, yeah, that's really all I got. Uh, give me video ideas in the comments, please. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.